Hello learners, welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. My name is teacher Jonathan and today in our lesson for grade 4 mathematics we will be dealing with data handling and in our data handling today we will be collecting data and before we collect data I would like to ask a question. How can you represent data? How can you represent data? And now I would like us to work in groups and do the following and this doing the following is the discussion what games do you like most what games do we like in our class what games do we like games we like and games we like i'll start with what games do we like victoria which games do you like and you can start with your favorite. Your favorite is football. So football is a type of game that Victoria likes. Another type of game that you like playing. Yes, Victor. Victor is saying handball. So handball is another type of game that Victor likes. Any other type of game you like? Yes, Jen. Jen likes netball. So I can write here netball, netball, another type of game you like most. Wangari, which type of game do you like? And you like volleyball. Now, out of the four, volleyball, out of the four, now I would like to request the following. How many of us likes playing football? How many of us? Can we count how many of us likes playing football? And I have a number. How many likes playing football? 11. So we write here. Those who likes playing football. Who like football. The number of those who like football. We have gotten 11 for football. Uh -huh. What about handball? Handball, we have seven. So handball here, let me write. Seven of you likes playing handball. What about netball? Netball is for girls, but even men also nowadays, they try to play netball. But how many, what number likes playing netball? We have six. And the final one is the volleyball. Volleyball, we have 12. Now, remember this is the game we like and this is those who like this game. This is the games that we like and the number of those who like the game. We have analyzed just here the game and those who like that game. Now, the information that we have just collected, we call it data. The information that just we have it here, we call it data. The information collected is called data. The, co the information collected is called data. So the information collected, we call it data. The information collected now is called data. The information collected now we have collected the information on the games we like and the number of people who like games. The information collected on the games we like, the games we like, and number of those who like each game. Who like the game We call it, it's called data. That information is called data. That information, we call it data. The information of the people, the game we like, and the number of those who like that game. Now, learners, I want us so to discuss another type. Now, for us to have that data, I would like you to discuss 
or to collect data of the number of ages or the ages of our learners in our class. How old each is. So, in our groups kindly, let us work. So here we have the age. This side we have the age in years. Age in years. Age in years and the number of those who are in that age. Number of learners in the same age. So let me just try to represent it in this way. So the data we are collecting is age in years and the number of learners in that age. The way we have done the first one, the game we like and those who like that game. So this was the number of those who like the game. And this one, I, I let, me, let me remove this one. I call it those who like each game or the number of the learners who like the game. Number of learners who like that game. And on this side, we, we learned that the number of learners who like football were 11. The number of learners who like handball were 7. The number of learners who play netball were 6. And the number of those who like volleyball were 12. Now, that information that we have collected is what we call data. The information that we have already collected here, we call data. Now, can we collect data on the age of our learners in our class and the number of of those who like who, who lie in that age and we'll start with victoria what age are you you are age 11 years so how many of us by the show of your hand how many of us are of age 11 we have seven in the age of 11 so we indicate seven of us are in the age of 11 what age are you john john is age 12 now how many of us are of age 12 and the age 12 we have 6 so in this side we indicate the number of those who are in age 6 are 6 in number again how many of us or oh, what age are you victor victor is age 11, age 13 so age 13 13 years old how many of us are 13 years old and we have a number of eight eight years of old and the last one is ten and a half that we have been given by wangari ten and a half ten and a half years old how many of us are in ten years and a half old and we have only two so i write here two learners this is the information that we have collected about our ages in the class and we have seen those who are 11 years old are 7, those who are 12 years old are 6, those who are 13 years old are 8, and those who are 10 years and a half old are 2. So this information that we have is what we call data. And the data we have collected is the age of learners in years versus the number of learners who are of that same age. And now what we have done, we have collected data. We have done data collection. Learners, now I want to leave you with a task. Can you collect the data of the following? Can you collect the data of the following? In our task, the task that I would like to give you, the task, I would like you to collect data on your favorite subjects you will discuss amongst yourself and then you tabulate it the way we have done it you record it because we are collecting you collect that data by collecting what subjects do i like how many likes mathematics by show of your hands you indicate the number of those who like mathematics who likes english you write the number of those who likes english all the way down that is task number one the favorite subject and the second one is 
collect data on the favorite songs. And this should be the gospel songs. What are your favorite gospel songs? And now collect it. And from there we'll discuss in our next lesson.